Now, this has materialized in a fantastic organization that really champions consumer rights for South African. You call it New Era. What does that stand for and what, what do you do? Yes, New Era, New Economic Rights Alliance. We started that uh, as a kind of sub uh, set to, to, our, to our business um, and it's now sits completely standalone. Um, it's actually a non-profit organization and it was just designed to help people understand what economy and economics is really about and how the banking system works. Where does money come from? You know, we taught at a young age where babies come from, so we're not taught where money come from, comes from. And there's a lot of um, very interesting history about the money system. And by understanding where money comes from, it can really help us identify where we stand economically, not just on a global standpoint, but in our own personal lives. A new era was designed to actually specifically understand the banking system and help people understand what's really going on behind the so-called economic indicators. Which is so important because your tagline is supporting victims of corporations that put profit ahead of human rights. Speak to us about that. That's right. A lot of people um, you know, are really suffering and they're suffering um, not just because of an economic downturn but because of very specific decisions that get made within economic uh, circles and banking circles. Now we've had a very interesting period since 2008 in the last six years since the credit crisis. crisis. We have seen monumental banking scandals internationally that have rocked the world and I'm sure you've, you've reported them on them yourself. Um, you know we've had the LIBOR scandal and we've had many securitization, um, uh, subprime mortgage loans. What does all this mean in the greater scheme of things but how does it mean to an individual? And what it actually helps to people do is it helps to teach them their place within the economic universe and their individual place. And that's essentially what we do. We look at helping each individual person, not by saying we will get you a lawyer or we will represent you in court. We don't do that at all. We do it through education. So we have 150,000 people in our database, South Africans now. So we have a huge group and a huge following. Um, and we actually do change the way people think. In fact, you provided that very crucial support to a group of people taking on a group of banks, yes. if I understand that correctly. That's right. Speak to us about that. Yes. Uh, two years ago, we took on the four major banks and we took on the Reserve Bank. Um, so it was essentially the banking system. And we essentially say, uh, said to them, listen, you guys are, are not practicing what you preach. Uh, simple things, for example, like uh, the way banks create money. How do banks create money? Where does this money come from? The money supply has been increasing, we know that, but where does it come from? And what a lot of people don't understand is it's made when, it, when loans are created. So we wanted to basically sue the banks and say, listen, you guys are basically pretending you're giving out loans, but actual fact, loans is money created out of nothing. It's, believe it or not, those people watching this right now, if you've got a bank loan, if you've got a house loan or an overdraft, that money is completely fictitious. When, you created, when that loan was created, the money was created with it. It increased the money supply. Um, and a lot of people don't understand that. And we wanted to take the banks to task. And we want to say, listen, what you're saying is the banking system is not working in the same way that people believe it works. We want to find a, a happy medium. We want the truth to come out and people to at least understand how the system works. So yes, we essentially said, right, let's, let's, let's take them to court and see what happens. What, what do you want the South African consumer to know? That one thing you want them to know about their money and where it comes from. I want them to know that money gets created out of nothing when a loan is created. I want people to realize that the, the concept of debt is not what they think it is. That debt is in fact a banking concept that has, uh, was started several hundred years ago. With um, I won't go into all the full history now, but it's essentially, I just want people to realize that when you are in so-called indebted to a bank, that that money and how it was created does not, was not created the way that you think it was. There's a much more sophisticated role and the reason I want people to know that is because if people can understand how the banking system works, they can realize that many of the money that we need for education, the money we need for schools, the money we need for electricity, communication, all these kind of things can be created using alternative means. Now if people understand how banking works, it means that the government actually does have enough money to be able to fund education. It's just that because we don't understand how the banking system works, we think we have to borrow money in order to, have it, in, in order to make it manifest. But there are alternatives. And I believe that the solutions to our problems lie in understanding where money comes from. If we really want some more information on this and we want to find out more about New Era, how can we go about doing that? NewEra.org.za Everything's on the website. Join our database. We mail people weekly. Uh, we keep them up to date on what's happening in the world. Um, there's another class action that's just about to start now. In fact, I think the papers have just been filed um, with regards to um, home loans and the way that banks, if they sell a person's house on auction, will still come after the arrears. 
we think that's unconstitutional. So there's a constitutional action that's been taken place with our um, with a with a, a lawyer, uh, um, um, Douglas Shaw, who's been working with New Era for quite some time. He's fronting that case. So there's a lot of great stuff happening. And um, so yeah, newera.org.za.